All the guns you'll be seeing today are available on solware.co.uk, based in Tamworth. Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today we're doing a test and review on the Reximex Pretensis. Uh, lovely gun, a lot of people class this as a bit of a favourite to use and it's quite well liked. Now, we've put it through a pellet test, we know it works well with the H&M Barracuda 18s. So we're ready, we know our pellet. Just a few little things to tell you about the gun uh, for people who don't know the channel. Uh, the gun is mounted with a 4x12x50 uh, Mount Master Nico Sterling. I have the SFS NAT silencer on the front. When you buy this gun, always uh, budget in for a silencer by the way. Uh, the trigger on this is ultra light, it's really smooth to use. Um, and that's all I can tell you about the gun. Now, let me explain how this test works. We have a battle league on this channel where uh, you can score 135 points if you hit every target there is. The first section here, there's 100 points up for grabs. Uh, you've got five single targets up there. If you hit the bullseye on all of them, they're 10 points each. And then we have a single target on its own. If you can hit five 10 point shots on that, that's another 50 points, so that will get you 100. Then we go into a round which is called the rings. The rings, there's four large rings, you get five points for each ring, and then there's a really small one just the size of a pellet. If you should manage to hit that, you get the bonus 15, making 135 points. And then after that, we'll have a discussion and a review on how well we think that the gun's done. Without further delay, and I hope that's satisfactory explanation to everybody, let's get them out there, let's go and see how it gets on. Okay then, let's get underway. The Pretensis is loaded with its H&M Barracuda 18s. 10 shots, 100 points up for grabs. First shot, top left hand corner. Oh, that might be an A, not a 10. Oh, and another bad one. And another bad one. And another. Well, that's terrible. I wouldn't mind, but I've only just set up this gun and it was bang on target, the gun's not had a knock or anything like that so god knows what's gone on that's a 10 like another 10 that's a 10 10 and another 10 so at least he scores 50 on the second card I'll get the two cards in and we'll see how far behind he is he's had a bad start there really so yeah it um, comes a bit of a shock there because as I say this was tuned in and it was ready to go but uh, whatever's happened has happened and well yeah not good is it for the pretenses at the minute. Let's get the cards in. This didn't go as bad as I first thought. The first shot I thought was just an 8 but he had broken the ring on the 10 so he gets 10 for that. The centre shot as well he broke the ring on that, that's a 10. But there is two 7s in there and an 8. So 28, he's got 42 on the first card and 50 on the second so 92 points to carry over to the rings. He needs to do really well on the rings to get up there and break the 110 barrier, which we say is good enough for a pass. Let's see how he gets on. Okay, there's two sets of rings up there. We'll be using the red rings today. Uh, this may need a reload in between as well, so look out for that. First shot. That's a five. That's a five. Now I think that's us, yeah. 
we need a quick reload, won't take a few seconds. Hopefully the reload doesn't throw anything out of position of where it's going now because uh, just put the three pellets in to finish I think. Right. So we made that short and sweet. Okay, shot number three. Yeah, five. And another five, so he's doing well in this round. Has he got the bonus? I'm not sure. Well, we'll go get the card in and we'll have a written up and we'll see how we go on. Well, great news for the pretenses after a very shaky start in the first round, he has pulled it back to 112 points score, so he just broke our 110 barrier. Sadly, the bonus shot on the rings card didn't count, it wasn't, it didn't split the ring, but he did get the full 20 points on the top rings there, which saved his bacon really. With 92 coming from the first round and 20 into the second, 112 is just about a pass. Now, I'm going to be quite honest with you, uh, it's underachieved there because um, I know what this gun can do and it really is an accurate gun. Now, why it suddenly started going high in the first round after I'd only just recently, I'm talking minutes before we shot this video, tuned it in, I do not know. Um, the only thing I can think of is it was a change of the magazine, getting ready for this or something or other that didn't agree with it. It is still new, so it is still moving around slightly, so it could be that. Uh, what do we think of the Potensis overall? Well, as you know with most of the Rexy this one has got the adjustable uh, power setting. Uh, being as it's a sub-12, I can't understand why anybody will ever move that, but it's there if you should need it. The gun comes with two magazines, which is always great by Crown. means you don't really need to go and buy a spare. You've always got one there in your pocket should you need it really fast. I like the adjustable cheek piece, very nicely done. Uh, the smoothness of the cocking lever and the smoothness of the trigger are again really good. Um, there's a nice decent tank on there, I would say you're good for around 100 shots, so at least. Uh, aesthetics wise, it's a nice looking gun, it really is. Um, I'm looking forward to putting it up against some of the other guns to see what it really can do because I think as I say today that 112 doesn't reflect exactly how good this gun is. Um, just had a poo around in the first round and it's unexplainable why to be fair. As I say it must be all down to the newness and it's setting in. But it's a great gun, it really is. It's another one of those uh, Quality made guns from Reximex. I do like the Reximex stuff, it's really nice. Um, all that said and being done, would RNC on tour recommend this gun to buy? You're looking, I think, at around the £400 mark at the minute, these, the Reximex Pretensis. Uh, there is other guns around that mark, so there's plenty of choice at around the £400 mark to get a gun, but this is one not to be discounted, it is a good gun. You've got also in around the same area as this, another gun we have in at the moment which is the Krell Puncher Maxi. More or less in the same design as this as well, which is why it, I'm looking forward to seeing those up against each other in a battle league later on. Uh, should be good to see those up against each other. But uh, even though there's quite a few choices at the £400 mark, you would put this in in there as one of your choices, it's a really good gun. A um, lot for the money, there's, you know, the aesthetics wise it's really nice. The other thing that I have on here, just a moment if I can find it, is it's readouts from the chronograph. Uh, that's the lawyer, that's the wrong one. If you just bear with me a second, I should have it here. Rexy Max Pretensis, here we go. Now, 
The reason I don't do a chrono test on this on the test and review is because I've already got the chrono results in there when it comes. Now these chrono results wasn't done by Reximex, they were actually done at Solware, uh, the people do them there. This gun was uh, done with JSB Exacts, which is 15.89 grains. It was uh, pumped up to 200 bar, as it tells me here. Uh, and this is the readings as it goes. The first shot, 469 feet per second, and that's 11.43 foot pounds, and 9.04 pf. Shot 2, 569, same result again. Shot 3, 568, just slightly lower, at 11.39 foot pounds. Shot 4, 574, 11.63 foot pounds. Shot 5, 572, shot 6, 572, and they're both at 11.55 foot pounds. Shot 7, 569, 11.43. Shot 8, 574, 11.69 foot pounds. Shot 9, 570, 11.47 foot pounds. Shot 10, 573, 11.59. Shot 11, 570 foot pounds, 11.47. And shot 12, 571 feet per second, and 11.51 foot pounds. So they're quite decent readings, as you can see, that's not more than that's a proper print out there that I've had straight from Solware. So the gun's doing exactly what it should be in my opinion, it should be around the 11 and a half, gives you Lloyd like, plenty of safety as regards our friends at the police, and it's still got enough power to kill anything that you should be shooting at as regards quarry. So yeah, I mean it's got everything you would need as regards power, accuracy, and it's not, it's not over heavy either. I mean, even with a big scope on there and a stainless silencer with the SFS NAT, uh, it's not heavy at all. It still feels well culpable with. And me being uh, with disabilities, I can quite uh, cope with the gun quite well. Uh, you know, it's not pulling on me to use. I mean, I tend there, as you will find, I don't do standing up shooting anymore. I'll do from sitting down, even when I'm on permission, so there's no stretching towards my back, or it doesn't play any nonsense with my arthritis. As you can see, my hands now totally closing up, but I'm trying to make do the best I can with what I have. Um, yeah, it's a gun we would certainly recommend. Power's there. Nice one to use, really light trigger, nice loading mechanism. I mean, even for somebody with, shall we say, uh, restricted strength, this is culpable with it, nice and easy to use. Uh, so a full able body person would find this really easy. So, yeah, thank you all for watching today. I hope this has been a look and an insight into the Reximex Pretentis and what you get for the money as regards accuracy and uh, its aesthetics and also its power levels. Um, we'll see you all in the next one very soon. Thank you all for watching. All the guns you'll be seeing today are available on solware.co.uk based in Tamworth.